got to take it all in, you know? Bro, say hi. That's the driver for today. Bro with me. This, this, this is walking past it. What are you doing at the car window, bruv? Good morning. Good morning, cattle. Pow, ready to rock and roll. Training kit laid out. 6.45 a.m. It's not like back over in England. I'll be getting up around 8 o'clock, 8.30. Walking into training. Training kits laid out for me in the dressing room. Boots clean. This is different. Completely different. Over in India, in the I-League, you better deal with your own stuff. But yeah, this is what you got to do. you got to make sure you have your kit prepared in the morning, ready to go. They give you four kits, two different colours. And yeah, if it's not washed, you'll be training a smelly kit. On my way to the stadium now, an hour drive from the capital to, to get to a home game, an hour drive. It's outrageous. Things are different over here, but as I said, you got to adapt. Back home in England, I would have been getting on a coach with the whole squad, but things are slightly different over here. But I'm having fun nonetheless. Just on the way back from training now, with the physio brow. This is how we get to training sometimes. We're on the mopeds. I'm just on the back at the moment. It's not the usual way somebody gets to training, but we're in Goa, and this is how things are done. Out here in Goa, I decided to come and get my hair cut today. Last time I came here to Sephora, Sephora to get my hair cut, it wasn't the best of experiences. In England, I can just go out there and just go into my barber's local in Brixton, South London, and they'll shape me up real nice. But out in Goa, things don't roll like that. The last time I came in to get my haircut, this is how the barber went to leave my hair. Take this. My first haircut in Goa. The guy, he wasn't sure what I wanted. And he looks like he's not sure what he's doing. What do you think of the haircut so far? It's just started. I don't, I asked him for one level, I don't. Now he's looking to give me a fade. One side's higher than the other, so I don't know how this is going to pan out. Good? I look good? I'm okay. It's finished? Yes. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just, it's, it's finished? Yes. I'm not trying to go for that today. That was a lucky chance to leave me with. So I'm going in there for the second time today. Hopefully we can come out with something looking much better than that. Stay with me. This is not the guy who cut my hair last time, so this is... This is good, different, yes, better. Yeah. You understand English, eh? Yeah. As you can see, fresh to death. Didn't take no risks, no fade. I just went for the simple skiffle, level one. I'm gonna go grab, grab me some seafood platter, enjoy the rest of the day in this nice, warm climate. You know, it's, it's beautiful, eh? Like, like, you play football, we train at like half seven, but after that, you're kind of on holiday all day. Roll with me. Last week, I mentioned here on Copper 90 the rumbles about Di Matteo losing the dressing room. But even with the revolving door policy at Chelsea these days, I didn't see that coming. I should have. We all should have. Uh, for me, Vidic is a tough man from the Balkans. Isn't that song about him? He's from Serbia, he'll fucking murder you. <laughs> <laughs> they do it. They sing a song. That's the song that Man U fans sing to Vidic. <laughs> 